the box chip S700A, right? DMR smartphone, got Android on it. I've had this, you've seen a video probably. So you've seen a video of my previous M1 and D1 by R Finder. I'm gonna turn this into an R Finder device with a ROM upgrade. And then we'll see how it operates. And I'm not gonna to go too in depth on the update procedure because I know a lot of people are gonna have questions on that. But I'm just gonna show you how I update it. And then if you're interested, you can contact R Finder and see how to turn your box chip into a R Finder unit, which then no code plugs, no programming, no BPS program. You tap on the repeater in GPS range and it sets the radio to that frequency. Very simple. So let's get it done. First step is to make sure that your box chip S700 is up to date. So I downloaded this from the box chip website. And this is, there's two files here, one for the UHF, one for the VHF. These are .bin files. And I'm going to uh, place the appropriate file in the root directory of the box chip when I connect it to my computer, which happens to be this here, root directory. I'm going to put that right in here. Okay. So we're going to go like this like this, like this, like this, and the UHF, see, VU. I'm gonna copy this into the root directory of the S700, like that, there it is. The next step is you need to go into the PTT app for the box chip. Now that you have the bin file loaded, go down to upgrade DMR software and hit yes. Now. It's going to update the firmware of the unit. So I want to make sure that it's up to date on the box chip before I go to the R Finder ROM. Definitely not the quickest firmware I've ever seen update. When you contact R Finder and Robert, I call him Bobby, but, but Bob is going to explain the details on what you need, what you need to do, how to get the ROM. So you get the ROM, you download it, great. Here's there's a scatter file, and the scatter file pretty much tells Android the flash tool, hey, this is what you're going to do. You're going to take the system, you're going to put it in this part, you're going to take the recovery, put it here, the bootloader, and such. And what you're going to do is you're going to load that scatter file wherever you downloaded that and unzipped it. You're going to load that scatter file in the scatter loading button. Here it is. I have it saved right here. Okay. Now it tells the software, here's my ROM. And here's where you're going to put all the stuff, okay? Now, download only. You don't want to click firmware and all that. Just download only. And I'm going to have the phone off. And I'm going to click download. But then I'm going to plug the phone in. Ready? Download. Now watch. I'm going to plug the phone in. One, two, three. Listen and watch. There it goes. It's downloading right now. Now it's finding out where it needs to go. It's going to put it in there. You don't want to touch the phone. MTK phones will do this, you know, the same way, whether it's an R finder, whether it's whatever. But now you can see it's downloading the flash here, 13%, 14%. When it's done, the phone is going to turn on and do the rest of the upgrade. At this point right now, if you unplug this phone, it is trash, garbage. When it won't turn on, just go ahead and send it to me. I'll pay shipping and I'll keep your phone. If you got anything other than this big green check mark, you screwed up. So I don't know what you did or what you didn't do, but you screwed up. This right here, nice check mark says the download worked. And lo and behold, it says R Finder. This is a box chip. You see that? But now it says R Finder. It is now loaded with the R Finder ROM. I just did this. This is hopefully going to be an upgraded Android ROM, and it's gonna look a little more like a normal Android phone. This is going to take a couple minutes to update, so we'll wait until this thing fires up, and then we'll show you the software. And now it's an R Finder. My SIM card automatically linked up, and uh, I have to set it to data. I have to tell it what to do. But one thing I noticed, my clock is not straight. Oh, boy. Oh, no, my.
my clock can't go straight. I want my clock centered. Anyways, so now it's got the traditional Android menu, not like the box chip one. I gotta say, I, I really didn't like that box chip one. Let's go to the R Finder app, which I had to load from an APK. So I got the APK from Robert at R Finder. And I loaded it on here on the SD card. Whoops. Allow for the location. Yes. So we're gonna put our information in. And now it is an R Finder device. So check it out. The KJ4Y is the I machine in Sebastian, right? You so first thing what you want to do is you want to go up here to the top, go to Brandmeister Hotspot Mode, click Refresh Groups. That's going to load all the well some of the Brandmeister talk groups. Once it does that, then you can click on a repeater and load the talk group that you want to use. That takes a second or two. Okay. Now watch this. KJ4YZI. Send device radio. We're going to pick a talk group. I don't know. Let's pick uh, TAC310. And whatever. Alabama. Enter DMR radio ID. 3112887. That's it. There it is. Right now I can key up and transmit on DMR on this machine. And again, with the R Finder, the cool thing about the R Finder is, you know, I travel a lot. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't use DMR hardly ever. I just don't use DMR. I'm going to be intrigued to use it with this device now that it's on R Finder. But uh, I'm not a DMR person. Maybe you are. But... As you travel, this list will update, and it'll tell you, you know, based on uh, distance from, you know, this is 5.6 miles, 11.6 miles, it'll tell you where the nearest DMR repeater is. That is the goal of R Finder. The only difference with this is that this is a box chip device that is now converted to R Finder. So I can click on a repeater, one, two, three, yes, done. Successfully set. Done. Now it's on the Valkyria repeater. I can transmit, okay, and it keys right up. So there you go. Um, why did I make this video? Probably because I just wanted to show you what I was doing. Um, I really wanted to update this thing. It was out of date. I haven't been following the updates, but uh, thanks to Bob for the help to do this and inquire from our finder. If you have a box chip and you're interested, inquire with them on Facebook. The one thing I can say about Bob, you know, I've met him at Hamfest and I've talked to him on Facebook, is the guy actually will like respond to you. He's got a good app here. They they build this app, they update it all the time. Um, so when I see when I ran into him in Hamcation in Orlando, he greeted me my name. That that meant a lot to me because the guys at Yesu didn't even give a crap who I was. But <laughs> But Bob knew exactly who I was, so that, that means a lot to me. Uh, thanks, Yesu, for ignoring me, and I appreciate everything you haven't done. And thanks for Bob and R Finder to uh, help me out with my upgrade here to turn my box chip into something new for me. 7-3, guys. KJ4YZI.